What's up guys, we're gonna do a video over putting just factory style power steering hoses for 73 through 80 square bodies into a truck with an LS swap. And uh, basically just get you some factory replacement hoses and then this will be the adapter you need to convert the power steering pump on the LS engine to the 3 8 flare of the factory 73 through 80 square body power steering box. So let's get to it. Okay, first thing I have to do is just get this uh, cold air intake out of the way. Or as that other dude told me, a warm air intake. So let me get that out of the way real fast. And so that way you can see what I'm doing, kinda. It's still gonna be terrible camera angle just for what it is. But let me get this out of the way and then I'll show you what I'm doing. So just so I can show you what I'll be doing, uh, I've just got this spare power steering pump from an LS. So basically what you would do is, uh, obviously you probably wouldn't have this pressure line already on here. So there would be an empty port down here, and that is where your adapter fitting would thread into. So you're going to thread that into the pump itself, and then you will just hook up your factory replacement power steering hoses on your square body, just like you normally would. Just two of them into the gearbox, cut the return line to the length you need, hook it up, and then you can screw the power, uh, the pressure side into the back of the pump, which would be the back of your adapter fitting here. It converts it to the 3 8 flare to the O-ring that the LS style uses. So what I'm going to do now is just thread my adapter fitting into the back of the pump. Uh, it takes a three, in, three quarter inch wrench. I mean, you're going to have to use a stubby to tighten it up, but uh, I won't really be able to show you exactly what I'm doing. That's why I showed you in the video earlier on the pump that wasn't on the motor. Take your time. You'll know when it gets tight. There it is. So now you can uh, get your pressure hose, get your pressure hose, which is just your factory replacement style. You can see it is the 3 8 flare fitting on both. I recommend uh, threading it into the back of the pump first. It makes it a lot easier to route your hoses from the gearbox where they're not contacting the belt or anything like that. So uh, I always like to do the return side last. So I'm gonna get this to the back of the pump may have to move some stuff out of the way. may even have to crawl underneath. Once you get it attached underneath, you can just route it where you need to. Let me see if I can't get y'all a better angle. There you go. So 
So that makes it much easier to route away from any of the pulleys, the belt, anything like that. So once it is in, you can just get your return line. Kind of just get it in place where you think you'll need it. These can be a pain to start, just how they are. So. And cut it off right about there. Instead of regular hose clamps, I like to use PEX clamps. They're pretty simple. How they work is you have a pair of pliers, like so. And then once you squeeze them, it basically tightens them up. Good tight seal. Uh, for something like this, it's not ever going to really come off unless it's bad. They work great. Tighten up your PEX clamp, and then you are good to go. You have a power steering pressure line, power steering return line. You can get them at the parts store if anything ever happens to them. All you have to do is buy that adapter fitting, and everything works like it should.